The Constitution is broken up into three parts, and today we're going to look at each of those three parts and discuss what's in them and hopefully get you ready to start reading the Constitution and understanding what you find in it. So um, <clears throat> let's take a look. The first part of the Constitution is the preamble, and that is the introduction to the Constitution. It states the goals of the national government, and there are six goals that we'll be looking at shortly. Uh, section 2 is called the Articles, and the Articles organize the national government. There are seven articles which organize and, and guide the national government, and um, we'll see those articles in, just, in a couple of days. And then finally, Section 3 are the amendments or the changes to the U.S. Constitution. These changes either add or take away from the original wording of the articles in the Constitution. And currently there have been 27 amendments made, while there have been over 2,000 suggestions or attempts at amending. So let's look at the preamble. It is the introduction to the Constitution that establishes the major goals of the Constitution. Goal number one is in order to form a more perfect union. And um, the, basically it means to promote unity among the states. Before the Constitution was written, the states did not get along. They did all different things to drive their citizens crazy and to drive each other nuts. And they were, they were not united. And the Constitution was hopefully designed to, to form that perfect union. Um, goal number two is establish justice. And justice is being tre treating everybody equally. And the country did not treat everybody equally before the Constitution. And even today, we don't treat everybody equally. But that is a goal. And so uh, to, to establish that goal, establish justice, a court system was made to administer justice. Goal three is to ensure domestic tranquility, which also means create peace in the states. And our government does a lot of different things to create peace in the states. There is the FBI that was created um, to protect citizens and create peace. Also, police forces, ambulance, fire departments, all kinds of services are created by the government and funded by the government to create peace in the states. Um, also, um, laws are made to make the states get along and to make the states get along with other nations as well. Goal four is provide for the common defense, and the government meets that goal or works toward that goal by creating a military to protect the nation. So our military is designed to um, defend us, to defend the citizens, and make sure that we are a, a strong nation that is unable to be invaded and destroyed. Goal five is promote the general welfare, which means that our government does things to help and protect people. And there are a lot of different ways that our government has done this through the years. Um, I think of programs like the Social Security program for older people and um, injured people that can't work. I think of the welfare system to help those that are unable to uh, work or unable to make enough money to survive. Food stamps also is another um, program that provides for the general or promotes the general welfare. Our new uh, Affordable Care Act, the health insurance law that went into effect in 2013, um, also is a way that the government tries to promote the general welfare. Now, not everybody agrees with how the government tries to promote the general welfare, but hey, that's a debate for a different day. Uh, goal six is to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Posterity is one of those words you probably don't know, and that means the future. So the government tries to keep our liberties safe for us. And, well, us would be those founding fathers in that generation in 1787, 1788. And also the people that live well beyond that, even till today, and our children and your children and your children's children. So uh, our government tries to protect liberties and the blessings of liberty for everybody in the future, all the way down the line. 
Now, uh, section number two of the Constitution is the Articles. There are seven articles that establish and organize the national government. They provide a framework and guidelines for the government to operate under. So when we think about what each branch of the government is and what the powers of the branches are, well, it's very clearly written in the Constitution. Article 1 is all about the legislative branch, which makes the laws, and it gives the powers and guidelines for that branch. Article 2 is the executive branch, and the, that branch enforces the laws, and Article 2 explains how the, they are organized in the executive branch and certain powers that the branch has. Article 3 deals with the judicial branch, which interprets the laws, and it outlines the powers of the judicial branch of the Supreme Court and it uh, explains what their powers are. Article 4 is all about the states and the federal government so that's where we get that principle of federalism and um, where it explains that there are certain powers the states have and certain powers the federal government has. Article 5 deals with amending or changing the Constitution and the way that that is done, the number of votes needed, the way that it's all handled. Article 6 is um, titled Supremacy of Federal Laws and basically what it says is the Constitution and the federal government trump or are higher than all the state laws. and. Um, that's where there have been a lot of controversies, actually, Article 6, because some people don't believe that the state laws should be below the federal laws. Um, and then Article number 7 is ratification of the Constitution, or how is the Constitution passed and accepted and made the law of the land.